and evolution take place, you must have an environmental change. Here's an example of the evolution of the horse. And before I go too far into it, let's just take a minute and look at the feet. Look at what's going on here. We have bones that we have laid out next to each other. Over These bones span over millions of years. And here, this is what the horses who owned the bones looked like. So originally, the horse itself came from an ancestor that was mm, no bigger than a cat, really. These little guys were very small, and they had feet that looked more like, like paws, and they definitely had finger bones. Um, as evolution occurred, there was a significant difference in, this, in the bones of the fingers. They had a little bit less, and the center one started to get a little bit larger. I know what you're thinking. No, they're not. They're not being inappropriate. Knock it off. Um, again, size kept evolving. This is millions of years, and the fingers kept evolving away until we get to the more modern horses where there are the actual hoofs. So what? I said it always has to do with the environment. These first two versions of horses, they matched up what the environment looks like when they were when they were alive. They lived in a very swampy, mucky, muddy area. Think of yourself as just pushing your finger down into some mucky, muddy, goopy that. If you were to do that, you would feel the mud pop up in between your fingers or in between your toes, which is kind of gross. But if you were a horse and you had no fingers, you only had a straight one hoof, what would happen to you when you stepped in that mud? It's too difficult for you. Come on! Turn around! You have to now! Come on! Artax! Fight! Oh, this suck you in. Never-ending story? It's the never-ending story. Well, the fingers did serve a purpose. If you were born and you had fingers, it allowed you kind of like, think about it like a snow shoe. It kind of allowed you to disperse your weight and stay above the mud. It was easier to survive in that environment and to get around. If you were born without those fingers, you probably got stuck quite a bit and you were slow and you were eaten. So it didn't serve you a very good purpose. As time went on, there are records that the land, the land started to dry up. It's not completely dry, but right about now it's, it's much less wet and much less mucky. More of a saturated soil. Um, just at the exact same time period that the land started drying, we start seeing the animals, the horses, with less fingers and less fingers until eventually we have the horses of today who pretty much live on extremely dry hard land they don't really live in swamps at all they run across par prairies and they gallop grunt, grunt, grunt. a horse today being born with those fingers would actually not be beneficial the fingers would slow it down it wouldn't be able to gallop as quickly and as gracefully as it does now however Having this back then would have harmed its life. So the evolution of the bones, the reason why some traits were favored and others were not. 